Well, despite the damage done by Johnson Johnson, healthcare is still the best performing sector this year. But as the market has turned, the de typically defensive group has been under the weather, down more than 7% this month. Two thirds of the sector are in correction territory or worse. The sector is on track for the worst quarter since first quarter of 2016. Carter, though, says today's sell off is a buying opportunity. So, Carter, why don't you head over to the plasma and tell us sure. why? Sure. And what's interesting, on a two quarter basis, it's the best relative performance since 2011 low in the SP, which is the defensive prospects or characteristics of this sector will almost mathematically provide the safe haven that one would expect. So the news notwithstanding, relative to S&P, this is definitely a place that I would want to be long and I would make that argument to you. So here's the XLV, no annotations, judgments, anything by me. Let's put in some lines. What we know, generally speaking, is that the healthcare uh, sector has maintained its uptrend. And even with this current sell-off, we've basically come down to a level where I'm going to make the bet that this holds. But again, even if it doesn't and everything goes down, this more likely than not will offer a safe harbor um, relative performance. Now, this is the key. Same chart on top, same trend line, and it's all about opportunity cost. When this sector sells off during the October swoon, what does it do? It goes straight up relative to other equities. When it sells off again, right here, what does it do? It goes straight up relative to other equities. And then one more time, when it sells off just here, what does it do? It outperforms, and that's what alpha is all about. It's defensive, it's got elements, and the J&J &J thing, as bad as it is, it's such a big weighting in the sector that it hurt the sector. Here's another way to look at it. This is a, a longer term chart. What we know is the sector which languished for a long time, only recently broke out. In fact, not only was it languishing, it was underperforming the market. So put the lines in on the bottom and take a look. So that's your relative performance. During a bull phase, during a sideways period for the sector, you have underperformance, of course, to the ascending market. But the fact that we've broken above that downtrend on a relative basis is very, very constructive. I, I like healthcare here as a relative trade to the market. If the market's going to go down, healthcare's going to go down, you've got a better bet here than most anywhere else. Maybe utilities being the exception. All right, Carter, why don't you come on over? It's not you exactly fighting back, no, but I mean, you know, it's like here. an empty chair at a table at dinner. It's I know. Weird. Bad it's luck. Weird. Yeah, you know what? It's happened. Um, it's Johnson <laughs> Johnson is, is about 11% or so That's right. of the XLV. Um, if it does have another, I don't know, let's say 10%, I mean, it, can the XLV go higher without it? Or, or can it still outperform? But can let's still say this. The, most importantly, what to do with J&J? &J? It's a wide holding in uh, many, many accounts. There is a, you know, an old saying, first loss, best loss. For everyone that did sell today, there are the people who are going to talk about it over the weekend. Their committees meeting, their boards saying maybe we've got to do something. So if you do see usually hit like this, it's better to take some measures and then go from there. Can I say something? That's what? like the fifth one tonight. Right, he's got right, it. He's, he's not, not saying anything. anything. My favorite. Four, I think we should have like a, ta a list. A list. Um, he is Mr. Adage. Word salad is my favorite. Word salad. Because sometimes I feel like it's That's word smorgasbord but on what, the show. What was that one? It's like a cornucopia one? of charts or something like That's that, right. maybe. Yeah. Fantastic. It's amazing. Yeah. I was going to throw Friends of the Friendless out. Remember that? The I Love Lucy no. episode. No. You don't no. remember that? I saw that first one. But Sorry. Yeah, I anyway. did see it in the first run. Back Wise to guy. Health care. You know. Back to healthcare. If forced to choose a defensive sector, Tim. Look, I think healthcare earnings healthcare? are more defendable in this environment, even with the you know cyclical, cyclical headwinds for the economy. Remember, the healthcare sector was the place to hide out actually when we were getting this growth scare in 2016. So um, I would just point out though, this market has held in, and I mean the healthcare sector way too long relative to the rest of the market, and it can't defy gravity. Well, but no, it was underperforming for the past three years. It's only just started coming to life, right? I mean, it underperformed. Well, I look, okay, but I would approach this from J&J &J trading at roughly 27 times, 28 times earnings. Not terribly cheap. Maybe they're not considered healthcare. Maybe you look at a UNH, also not terribly cheap. So what was defensive because there was earnings to back it up. And, you know, granted, your, your chart points out that at a time when other stuff was ripping, these things were underperforming because, in fact, yep. they're, they're more conservative.